Today we'll be taking a look at everything from explosive lemons all the way to fists that can one-shot anything. This is Mod Mashup. How's it going guys? Welcome to the video. In Mod Mashup we take a look at a plethora of different mods and these are mods that I think you need to check out. So jumping right into it, we need to talk about the lemons, the explosive lemons. Now these are obviously kind of made real from the fact that Cave Johnson from Portal 2 talked about explosive lemons and what do you know, here they are. Someone made them and they work pretty well. You press left click to shoot the grenade, it has about a 4 second timer and then it explodes. You can also choose to hold left click and you'll cook the grenade, however it's best to not hold it for too long because this happens. But no worries because you have enemies you can toss this at and if you go ahead and do right click instead, you will make the grenade explode upon contact and leave your enemies in a fiery and painful death. Now of course this wouldn't be complete if it didn't have the classic Cave Johnson lemons, quote where this weapon came Take from. Take the lemons back! Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Make life rule the day and thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you Something else that's pretty cool about this mod is in the entities tab, you can spawn a bunch of little grenades inside a little bag and it even has some physics to it. It looks really cool. They even threw on a little fake tag saying Aperture Science. Pretty awesome, honestly. A lot of thought went into this mod and I'm so thankful for the person that made it. Next up, we go into the world of Minecraft and we have the Pet Wolf. And this is just the perfect companion when you want to go around your Minecraft world. I know the first thing I do when I play Minecraft is I get a wolf pet because who doesn't love this little doggo? Now for some reason when he follows you he kind of doesn't move his legs. I don't know if that's a problem with me or if there's just some weird thing with this map. However, if you do press right click he will stop and he's supposed to sit down but for some reason he doesn't. However, the fox does sit down and I guess it's time to mention, yes, you can also have a fox as a friend to follow you. They'll run around and chase you everywhere with their non-moving legs. Now thankfully you cannot kill the doggos or the fox O's because they're impervious to damage and why would you even want to hurt them in the first place? Overall, it's a pretty awesome mod that... What the hell are you looking at, bitch? Another cool interesting thing about this mod is that they will teleport to you if you're too far away. So let's say you're doing something and you're not minding your business. You'll hear the Enderman teleporting sound and you'll look behind you and oh, there's a dog behind me. I thought I left you at the house. Definitely a cool mod and the perfect mod to complete your Minecraft collection in Gary's mod. Who needs to play Minecraft when you have Gary's mod, right? <laughs> Who needs to play any game? but Gary's mod. Next up, and this is gonna be one that actually did blow me away, and that is the Tactical Insertion mod from Call of Duty. So, we've seen quite a few Call of Duty mods in the past. This one is different though, because you whip out a flare, toss it out, and, oh, um, okay, yeah, maybe I should've probably put it in a more open area. All right, so go ahead, whip out your flare, throw it out, and then when you die, something special, something magical happens. You will get out of your helicopter that mystically came out of nowhere. Your bro next to you will make sure you're good to go. And then you jump out of the helicopter down a rope. And then you watch the helicopter fly away. I did not think that this was actually going to work. I gotta admit, it blew my mind. This is amazing. This is <laughs> I'm never gonna respond the same way again. Now there is a few issues I did find. One is that if you put multiple tactical insertions down, it will just spawn at the first one you put. So I guess that kind of makes sense, but I for some reason thought, oh hey, I'll put a new one down, it'll replace the old one. But no, it has to cycle through every single one you put down before that. And yes, I even did try to put one in the skybox, and yes, it did work. And a third yes, it will look like a giant helicopter when you go back to the normal map. <laughs> So overall, very cool add-on. I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to give their respawning -ness some extra jazz, or if you just want to look cool and badass in front of your friends. <laughs> Next up, we go into a close quarters environment because we're going to be looting some shiz today. We're at a hospital. Don't know why we'd be here, I guess, for medical supplies. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, first up, you want to equip the inventory swept and then choose the plethora of different Barney backpacks. 
These are backpacks that you actually do wear. In fact, if you go ahead and activate third person mode, you will see the backpack on you and look at me. I look wonderful. Ready to go loot some stuff, but that's not all. You can also spawn helmets and other things. And when you left click on them, you will store it into your bag, which you can access by pressing right click. This is a really cool inventory system that I think was based off of Escape from Tarkov, which the creator of this also made an inventory system based on that, which is what this is based on. So it all kind of comes together. And you can also put on different kinds of armor. You simply press left click to use things, and you can also drop things if you wish. We also have a storage locker here, but I... I had some issues with it and also <laughs> if you press left click you'll store the whole locker in your bag how does that make any sense i don't understand it but you can do that if you wish however i could not get it to work for the life of me but the rest of everything else does indeed work and it looks pretty damn cool so if you want to replicate your favorite battle royale games or just kind of have some realistic survival involved definitely check out this mod down below all right so you guys knew this one was coming we have the obliterator punch this is a add-on that is so disgustingly strong. You have Combine, one punch. Strider, one punch. You have the Incredible Hulk, <laughs> one punch. The Ruler from Trolls? Oh, okay, well, he got a cheap shot there. Not even the Ruler from the Trolls pack can survive these fists. Absolutely insane. There is one... One issue I have with it though. By hitting a few props, I found out that I'm pretty sure this weapon just deletes whatever it hits, and it has a little effect. I mean, look, even the icon is glitched, this thing is so powerful. And a weapon shouldn't really be destroying props, at least not a regular one. So I thought this was very strange, and I don't know if it is just some issue with the weapon, or if it really is just deleting everything. But suffice to say, this is still a weapon you need to check out if you want to test any NPC, because this thing pretty much deletes everything. And now it's time to go tactical once again with the Titanfall Phase Shift Swap. Now this is obviously from Titanfall as the name suggests, and it's an ability you can activate that makes you invisible, invulnerable to damage, and super super speedy. And you can use this in a plethora of different ways, whether you just want to escape from a situation, or even go through a room without anyone even knowing you're there. You can see this combine in the room and they think they have the upper hand, but I can simply press left click and BAM! I am no longer here according to them, and I can just go as I please, however there is a bit of a cooldown before you can use it again, so hey, don't, uh, don't be like me. But in many cases you can use it and simply go through the room and not even be detected, and if you are detected and someone hits you, it's good to know that you're completely safe and sound due to the fact that you are completely invulnerable until it fades away. Welcome to the map of the pack. So in this map, you wake up in your bed and realize, oh shoot, I didn't finish my map on hammer. There's a lot of cool little things in this map, and I'll go over a few of them briefly. For one, if you go outside the door, you'll leave for gas and the map resets. Don't even try to go out of the window, because if you jump out of the window, well, you'll end up realizing you're in some kind of a simulation or you're being watched, and then you have a bunch of guards that come into the room to try to kill you. You can try to escape, or you can epically fail like I did. Dying once again puts you back into the room. You have a few options left. I noticed this vent looked destructible, and it totally wasn't the fact that it told me it was destructible because of my hollow hood, link down in the description. But if I were to grab my stiff pants for some reason, or a stiff shirt, I can simply throw it at the vent, break it, go through, break the other side, and horrors await me in the end. It appears this is all a fake, and someone has tried to escape before, but unfortunately, they didn't make it out. Now, you'll notice that there is a vent that you cannot get up to, however, I was thankfully able to because, well, this is a Half-Life mod, let's be honest, and we all know how to prop jump in Half-Life could. I was finally able to get up to the vent, and, well, let's just say there's a surprise at the end. Alright, so all of this lollygagging is fun and everything, but now it's time to get down to the real business. We're gonna finish this map on Hammer. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, yeah. I forgot. When you edit maps, you get sucked into this weird virtual world and you have to fight this strange, blocky looking Gordon Freeman thingy and he throws a bunch of stuff at you. So this is the main appeal of the map. 
It's a boss fight. He starts out by throwing out a gravity gun. Unfortunately, I can't pick it up, so I have to equip it myself. Luckily, I'm able to do that. However, I ended up actually dying the first few times I tried this. But you had to pick up these weird white blocks that look like they're from the editor itself and you have to actually throw it at him. I'm sure a lot of map creators out there would understand this better than I do because I've only used hammer like once in my life. But um, it's pretty awesome and I, I'm sure there's a bunch of funny little jokes in there. But eventually when you throw all those white blocks, dodge all those lasers and avoid all of his clones, you'll eventually finish him with the Get this, you have to throw a hammer at him. <laughs> but once you do, you can see a beautiful, lovely field as you frolic through it slowly. But I noticed that, wait, that's not my character. It doesn't matter because we won. And I have to ask, does every map creator have to go through this? Is this what every map creator does before their map is finished? If there's any map creators out there, let me know down below if this is what you deal with. But that's going to be it, guys. Those were all the mods I wanted to show you guys. Thank you all so much for watching this until the end. They're all linked down below. If you like this video, though, leave a like down below and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, farewell.